demographic information is one of the primary tasks you'll be performing in Practice Manager. You can complete this task from the Name and Address section of the Patient tab. Here are a few tips to keep in mind. The first and last name fields need to be entered before you can save the patient's information. Also, once a zip code is entered, it will be saved in the system so the next time you enter the same zip code, the city, state, and country will default into the respective fields for faster entry. In the event that your patient has an alternate address, you may enter it by clicking the second address button. If you choose to enter a second address, you will notice that you have the option to enter a date range in which this address is active. If a date is entered, any patient statement generated for this patient during this date range will be sent to this address. After a second address is added, you will notice that the second address button becomes highlighted in red. This is to alert you and other users that a second address has been entered for this patient. Now that your patient's name and address fields have been entered, we will continue by adding their contact numbers in the phone number fields. You will notice that there are three fields for the patient's primary home, cell, and work phone numbers. If you need to add additional numbers, you may do so through the phone button located on the right-hand side of the patient tab window. This will allow you to add or modify the existing phone numbers for your patient. The last feature of the name and address section is the add picture option. To attach a picture of your patient to their account, simply click the photo icon where it says click to add. Upon clicking, select add picture. Next, locate and highlight the image file that you would like to be displayed. Then click the open button. The patient's photo will then be resized and displayed in the picture window. Once you are finished, click the save button below.